soon. Have a nice trip. Are, are they gone? Are we finished? Whew. Don't play rock, paper, scissors, not Susie and withstand. I were you, I would bring the god from home. All you need is love. False. Love does not make a thermal resistance sandwich. Do do do. Software contacts. I've always wanted black contacts. The same as the abyss. My name? Who left all the lights on? Seriously. What's up, Jake? Naughty man. 
I cooked a pie and I ate it. The taste of that blueberry filling. Oh, call it big like toe? I call it like seosis. I would, I would bring the from home. I can't stomach the snacks here. Must be all the debris and electron pulsators distorting the taste. I don't even know what those are. Finally, I found some coffee. But it's kind of hard and brittle. Does anyone have a coffee grinder? There go my shoelaces again. I think the shape's right. I just boy, need to boy, add boy, some boy, 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 things. So The following is a GDL certified presentation, recorded and made for strict use of the Geo Descent Lab grounds only. <clears throat> right. Let's see. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome to Geo Descent Labs, where digging into the past is of the past, because we're digging into the future instead of the past. Mm. My name is Alan Columbus, and I'm the one in charge of running the operations here. So, please do take a seat, as the following presentation will outline your mission in adequate detail. Yes. Right. Approximately 30 years ago, we sent a bore drill with a two-man crew to create a tunnel to the center of the Earth. However, once that drill reached the core, we lost all communication with the crew. And, um, well... The, 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 the crew themselves. So, the project was completely shut down due to the unforeseen casualties. I mean, I, mean, I, I say unforeseen, but you know the nature of the... <clears throat> <clears throat> now, fast forward to about a year ago, we discovered a new type of rock deep down in the earth named noxesium that when cooked at a temperature of 3,456 degrees, along with a cow's udder, apple cider vinegar, a few gummy bears, dried washing up liquid, and a spleen of a... You, you, you know what? In brief, it allowed us to create a new alloy that we managed to translate into a fully-fledged metallic wingsuit named the Thermal Flight Armor 1541. This suit is made to withstand the highest heats known to man, and so we believe the center of the earth. This is where you come in. You have been hired for a mission to fly down to the center of the earth, wearing the thermal flight armor 1541 to rescue the long lost bore drill. Providing that it's intact, you should be able to use the power in your suits to power it up and drive it all the way back. It would also be nice to recover the bodies of the crew lost and uh, bring them back for their families. Okay. Let's talk about how you're going to do it. 
The bore drill gradually made its way to the earth's core through three separate tunnels in a zigzag formation. You will glide using your suits all the way down to the center of the earth through these tunnels. At the end of tunnel one and two, there is a base camp that you can use to rest up at. However, beyond tunnel three, well, it's all on you at that point. Listen, I don't know what you're going to find down there, but I'm sure you all agreed upon the possible dangers when you signed up for this job. Right, as soon as this brief is finished, you'll head out the door behind you and follow the route down to the armory where you'll equip your brand spanking new Thermal Flight Armor 1541s, and then progress to the drop zone. Um... S Sasha? Is it, is it possible to get this recording to, um... <clears throat> self-destruct after it's finished y you know like the um, Mission Impossible film no what do you mean no okay okay ne never mind False. love does not make a thermal resistant sandwich Marty. <clears throat> K kaboom! Kaboom! and I are in a tectonic relationship. We're always moving past each other. 